Hey, what's up everybody? So today I'm going to teach you what settings to use when you are trying to render something out of Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, it's very easy and basically I'm just going to be showing you how what, what settings to use to get the smallest file size with the maximum picture quality. It's so, so this is what I do and it's pretty easy and I'm not saying that it is the best way in the world but it's what I have found out that works for me. So if you know a better way let me know in the comments and I will maybe start doing it that way but this way it works well for me and it took me a little while to figure out how to do it so I'm sharing. You're welcome. Um, Alright so this video obviously looks horrible. I just grabbed a random file off my computer um, and this is the uncolor corrected thing for a video that I actually made that was called like um Awkward Ways to Die or something like that. I don't even remember what I called it. Click the link in the description if you want to check that out, though, because it's funny. Um, Alright, so format, I think it usually pops up as, like, AVI or something. But you're going to set it to H.264, uh, which is very good. And then for the preset, we are going to set that to Android Tablet 1080p, because uh, I shoot in 20, or 24 or 23.976 frames per second, so if you shoot for it like more like, uh, you know, 29.97, then pick that one instead, but, uh, yeah, so I'm just picking that one. Alright, so now this is going to change to custom anyway, but that just gives me most of the settings. So, obviously I have to tell it where to save it, but I already did all that. Um, export video, export audio, blah, 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 blah. Now, you got to make sure that these are set the right way, because sometimes they will put in weird numbers that are not right, you know, not the right resolution, so, you know, 1920 by 1080, 1080p looks right, now, if I drag this up, oh, wait, stupid, there we go, if I drag, oh, there we go, drag it that way, you can see it's going to put bars on the video, and that's not what we want, we want to have no bars there, so, yeah, 1920 will be good, lock that, okay, frame rate should be set to whatever the frame rate you actually filmed in. I use a Canon T3i and I set it to 23.976 frames per second. But, you know, if you film in 30 frames per second, as I said, just click that and set it to 30. But I don't, so I'm going to leave it there. And then square pixels is good because who would want pixels that are like freaking triangles? That would just be weird. Um, NSTC, good. Profile baseline, level 4.0. Render at maximum depth, we want to check. The bitrate settings should be VBR2 pass, that way we'll go through two times and check everything. Uh, and now, this is what changes the file size. Now my video clip obviously is only like 8 seconds long, but um, just to show you, watch the file size here. If we drag these all the way up to the top, 20 megabytes for 8 seconds. I think not. So I usually have found that setting them about 4 works. Um, you know, if you're if you're doing like a, a Minecraft Let's Play video or something like that, you can probably even go lower because quality is not going to matter quite as much then. Um, but but yeah, for my normal, for just for YouTube, I like to do it for. If I was doing something professional, then maybe I'd put it up around seven or eight or something. But you know, or you could go higher. But I'm I think four is probably fine. You don't really need to go much higher than that. And then the maximum bit rate, I just like to set that a little bit higher. Uh, and then that's all good. Uh, then check the box for maximum, blah, 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 use maximum render quality. And then for audio, which I, there, it doesn't usually need, you don't usually need to change anything, but yeah, just audio code deck, AAC, good. And then, you know, uh, sample rate, 48,000 hertz, stereo, blah, 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 audio quality high, no, low. That's going to make it, no, we want to leave it at high. Uh, 160, looks good, looks good, looks good. Okay, so that's basically the settings that you need to do. Now you just click export, and it will go through and go blah, 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 and be done. But it's my laptop, so it's slow, and it wants to wait a couple minutes. Um, oh, but yeah, so if you're, if you're in a rush, you don't have to check that. Use maximum render quality, because it does make it take a little bit longer. As you can see, it's going to want to take like two minutes for an eight-second clip. Um, but it will make it end up looking slightly nicer. So, you know, let it run overnight or something. Um, but, or if you're in a time crunch, don't. It doesn't make a huge difference, but it does help a little bit. So, I am going to, I guess, tell you that uh, on this channel of mine that you are watching, if you click on my channel, I've got a bunch of free pre-keyed video effects. Um, so, basically, you can just, like, drag them into After Effects, uh, and it, it doesn't have, like, a... It's kind of like an effect that's on a green background, only you don't have to take a green background. It doesn't have a green background or a black background or anything like that. It's transparent, like um, Action Essentials. Blah, Action Essentials. 
uh, from Video Copilot, if you know what that is. I'm assuming that half of you at least do, because you're watching this tutorial. Um, but yeah, so those might be useful because they're all free, and you can just click the little video and uh, the download link in the description, because, you know, I just film stuff, make the background transparent, and put it up for free for you guys, because I'm nice like that. Um, but yeah, so this thing is almost done rendering. 33, 32, 31, blah, 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 blah. Taking way too long, but I'm going to wait just because I want to show you guys how it turns out. Da -da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. What should we talk about? We should talk about something while I'm waiting. Um, hmm. No, I have no idea. I'm drawing a blank. Mm, blah, 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 blah. Oh, if you click on it and drag down, it jumps up. No. <laughs> uh, okay, there you go. Almost 200, almost 200. Let's go. We could. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, here, and this is notice size 4 megabytes. And this is how it turned out. Oh, wait, let me pause it. Let me pause it. There we go. Maximize. Here we go. This is what we got. Now, I don't know if you were able to tell in the, you know, screen capture, because this, obviously, I have this capturing my screen. Uh, that's because that's what a screen capture is. Um, but, yeah, so I, I, they probably looked a lot lower quality than it actually was. Um, but, yeah, so just try those settings for yourself and see if they work for you. Hopefully they will, because they have been working for me, and I think this tutorial is getting too long, and I'm going to leave now. So, yeah, anyway, subscribe if you liked it. Like the video if you want. helps me out. I will see you guys later.